I love shortcuts because I'm lazy. Like too lazy to right click and find something in a menu. But honestly, when you do the same thing a hundred times a day, it gets a bit old. Learn shortcuts as you find yourself doing repetitive things. And that way you don't waste a whole bunch of brain space learning a bunch of stuff you're never gonna use. So here are a whole bunch of FabFilter Pro Q3, FabFilter Pro Q3 shortcuts that will help speed up your workflow. First of all, creating a node. You can double click anywhere. You can double click on the keyboard below on any note and it will create a node for you. You can also control alt click anywhere to instantly make a dynamic node. And then one more thing about nodes is that you can alt click it to toggle it on and off. The next thing is gain. So for gain, you can hold control and scroll up and down. For dynamic range, you can alt and scroll to change that. For a low pass or a high pass, because they can't be dynamic, alt and scrolling will change the slope of the filter. So for Q, to change the Q or the width of the band, you can control, click and drag. You can also hold shift and scroll. So I'm gonna repeat all of the scrolling ones because I think they're the most useful. So control scrolls for gain, alt scroll is for dynamic range, and shift scroll is for Q. Now for the frequency ones. If you do control alt click, you can change the shape of the filter. You just scroll through all of the options. If you hold alt shift and you click, you change the slope. If you hold shift and you drag up or down or sideways, you're fine tuning adjustments. If you hold alt and drag it, it locks it either in the frequency domain or the amplitude domain. If you double click a gain knob, you can change the value. And if you double click on a node, you can change the value as well. And if you press tab, you can scroll through all the options. And one cool part about this is that the frequency input accepts things like 200 Hertz, or you can type in 2K for 2000 Hertz. And you can type in something like G3, and it will take you to that specific frequency for that note. And you can get even more specific and do G3 if you're using quarter tones, for example, and do plus 25. And that would be a G3 quarter sharp. So you can get pretty detailed with this. One thing that I just learned about this, I've been using this for so many years and I never figured this out, is that you can click on the frequency ruler down here and drag up to zoom in and drag down to zoom out. Also, if you double click on it, it'll just reset it back to the default. That's it for the FabFilter Pro Q3. I don't know why I can't say that. Shortcuts, subscribe for more audio stuff.